Hi there, welcome. My name is David, as you may or may not already know. I am the intermediate cello tutor for these virtual sessions, and I'm delighted to be here to bring you some ideas for getting warmed up. So this is going to be a series of videos. There's going to be one every week. You can build on um, what we do in this first video with what comes next. Um, so please don't feel like what I'm giving you to do is just for that week or just for that day. These are good things to be getting into the practice of and getting into the routine of. And that is just what a warm up is about. It's about finding a routine that gets our bodies warmed up, most importantly, so that we don't get injured or that we don't get hurt while we're playing. If it's hurting, it means that something isn't right. So I am here to tell you that in all of these stretches and all of these warm ups, if something starts to hurt, please just don't carry on. Take a little rest, shake it out. And I'm hoping that these warm ups and getting into a routine of warm ups is going to mean that we don't get hurt in the first place. So, generally speaking, when we start a warm up, we want to get the blood flow increased. We want to get the blood flow going around the muscles more than it was when we're just sat still. So, we want to start with something that's going to help us to do that. So, one of the simplest things, I just learned it this year, but I don't know why I didn't think of it before, is just standing up and down. So, stand, sit, up and down for 60 seconds. You will be amazed at how much the blood starts flowing. And to give you an example, well, why not let's just do it together for a little while. My chair's just over there, so I'm going to seem a little bit far away from you. But um, we'll give it a go. Why don't we do it for 30 seconds and then maybe you could carry on for another 30 um, and build this into your practice time. So here we go. <gasps> I'm down here. Here we go. Ready? Go. It's kind of like a squat as well. If you control the speed, it's much more like a squat. Oh. Now, don't know how you're doing, but that is just over 10 seconds that we've done so far. If you're thinking this is ridiculously easy, try and go a little bit faster. Of course, if you get lightheaded, then don't carry on. I don't want anyone falling over. But it's a really good way of just getting the muscles going and, like I said, getting the blood moving around your body. And that was 30 seconds. So imagine doing that again. Now that we've got the blood moving around our bodies and everything's starting to get a little bit, you know, woken up, um, we want to follow the general principle of warming up big muscles before we warm up small muscles. We need to engage all of these muscles when we play our instruments, so it's really important they're all warmed up. So for our big muscle warm-up today, we are going to do swimming. Swimming? Yes, swimming. I want you to just imagine that you're doing a breaststroke, and we're going to open the arms out. And we want a nice full stroke which is great for just opening the shoulders out, isn't it? Can you feel that? And once we've done a bit of breaststroke, we can also try front crawl. Oh, can you hear that click? That is my shoulder going. And front crawl is really nice. Oh, to just get these back muscles engaged. All right. And I'm not even a very good swimmer. Now that we've done a bit of stuff on the big muscles, I want us to do a little bit on smaller muscles. So these are obviously these. We're going to do a bit of finger gym and I'm also going to give you a couple of stretches that are good. So the first stretch that I want to show you is a tendon stretch and it looks a little bit like this. So you're just going to put your palm down in front of you and you're going to gently pull. So you've got your arms straight and you're just going to gently pull your fingers back towards you. Not too much. Again, we don't want anyone to be sore. Just a gentle stretch and we're going to hold it there. And then you're just going to do the opposite. So you're going to turn your hand over. Again, pull it towards you. And that's just going to stretch and lengthen the tendons a little bit. And then, of course, do the same on the other side. Anything we do on one side, we should do on the other side. Just to balance it up. Okay, so about 20 seconds each way for that. And now finally a little bit of finger gym, very very quickly. All we're going to do, we're going to open our hands and we're going to touch thumb to first finger, then to second, then to fourth, and then all the way back again. Nice and simple. Make sure that you open out in between. And you can even try some finger flicks. So hopefully now you're feeling a little bit warmer. 
overall and especially in your big muscles and now that we've done our finger gym our fingers are ready to go so we're going to do some stuff for the right hand and our right hand stuff today we're just going to start off with a quick bow hole check so imagine that you've just dipped your hand in a bucket of oh you realize a sludge all over it you give it a shake just to loosen it all out before we land it on top of the bow then we've got to make sure that we've got three four lovely walls and three lovely windows in between. So we've got a space in between all of our fingers. And then if you turn it upside down so the hair faces the sky, you can check to see if your thumb is flexible. And you can try that, just a few thumb bends. We can also do some caterpillars. And caterpillars are when all the fingers or all the legs of the caterpillar are engaged and working really hard. We don't want to see any abseiling caterpillars. We want every single finger to be working hard. Another quick thing we can do, just to see if our wrist is really working, is to see if we can isolate our wrist. So with the other hand, the hand that doesn't hold onto the bow, just hold onto your arm so to stop it moving and see if you can get the bow to move up and down, round and round, and lengthen your fingers into the bow. That's a really important thing to be able to do, just to have that flexibility. And the reason that we do, and we hold on to our wrist, is otherwise we tend to cheat a little bit and do that. So hold on to the wrist just lightly, and then make sure the fingers are working. All right, we are going to land the bow on the string, so we need to get our instruments ready. So pick up your instruments. We've got our instruments set in the correct place, with enough space for a hamster to crawl up and down here. We're feeling nice and tall, we're on the edge of our chair with our feet flat. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna land the bow on the string and then give it a wobble. So, land the bow and then just feel a wobble up and down on the string so that you can feel the string underneath you and you can feel that resistance. So we can try that a few times. Land the bow on the string and wobble, wobble, wobble. Now this time we're going to land the bow on the string, we're going to wobble and then we're going to whoosh. Okay, so I'll give you a count of three. We're going to wobble, one, two, three, whoosh. And we want a real release of the sound. Let's try it on the G string this time. We land, we wobble, one, two, three. That was better. And we want to feel that real grippiness so that the sound starts with a k sort of sound. That's going to be really helpful for matogens. Okay, let's do some beginner bowing patterns. For today, let's get going with this one. So we're going to do a whole bow in the down bow. Down, then little bows, up, down, up. And the rhythm is ta ti ti ta ti ti down, up, down, up. So join me, let's do that four times. Ready, and. And I'd like you to try that on all four of your strings. One more bowing pattern for today, and it's the one we need for matachins a lot, which is the same rhythm, ta te te ta te te but instead of doing separate bows, we're gonna do down, up, up, down, up, up. And I want to just see you using the lower half of the bow this time. So watch me first. Join in. Now that we've done some things for the right hand, let's do some things for the left hand. So we're going to start by just gently bouncing. I'm going into fourth position, so slide your thumb down to the neck and bounce on all the strings. This is just a great thing to start the day with. It's almost like saying hello to your cello. You're saying, good morning, I'm back again. It's me and I'm getting ready to play. Now let's try doing some left hand pizzicato on each string. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna do eight on each string, then four on each string, then two, and then one. We're gonna start off by using our first finger on the C string eight there, and then we're going to change finger, so we're using our second finger on the G string, then our third finger on the D string, and then our fourth finger, our pinky, on the A string. 
okay, and we're going to do eight, four, two, and one. Let's give it a go. One, two, ready. Six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. Now four on each. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two on each. One on each, and let's do that twice. cello ring after you finish that. Now if that was quite tricky for your very first time having a go at it, roll this video back and have another try. Our final activity for our warm-up today is going to be thinking of our fingers as hammers. So we're going to start fourth finger on the A string and what we're going to do is we're going to try and bang all four fingers down at the same time like this. So we hear a little tap. Right, so we can do that four times, and then we're going to do the same with all three fingers. So we're taking the pinky off, just one, two, and three. Then just two fingers. Then just one finger. Then we're going to go back up the way. Two, three, and four. So let's try that together. One, two, three, four. Two, one, two, three, and back to four. And the important thing while you're doing this is you're keeping all your fingers nice and round. We don't want to end up all flat fingered. We want to stay nice and round with our hand. Well done for joining in with my warm up today. Do come back, watch this video again. Maybe you don't have to watch all the chatty bits but do go through each of the routines of a physical warm-up, something for the right hand, something for the left hand. And happy practicing.